and I said, man, Carl, where's Nugget? And she said, he's probably on the other side. Well, I went around to the other side and Nugget was not there. Man, Carl and I just got home. We left Jason over at the 40 and she had the bright idea to let's catch some ducks while it's, it's just about to get dark. She thought it would be easier if we did it at night. And so here we are We've with the ducks. horse trailer. And Mary Carl has one. I have one. We've already loaded two up, so here we go. My pants and my shirt are covered in poop. But mine wasn't as bad as Mary Carl's. Hers went all in her shoe. So she's going to get the water hose to rinse her shoe out. And I am going to show y'all what we have. Well, I don't know if you can even see it, but we've got two geese and four ducks. We're thinking if we load them tonight, then she and I can go ahead and take them over in the morning. And Jason's already there, so he can help us. Well, probably all we'll have to do is open the trailer. And this will just kind of eliminate a whole day's worth of work. All right. <laughs> Where have you been? Right, so got my shoe. What happened? Goose poop. <laughs> Goose poop. I'm not good with this camera thing. All right, so here's where we are. You can see there's ducks and geese everywhere. Uh, we yes, have turkeys and chickens out here. And we're not after those tonight. We're only after the ducks and the geese. I got Big C. Mary Carl has Big C. And he's going to be loaded in the trailer next. All right, turkey, you're safe. Go ahead. You're safe. Yeah, there went the mallards. So. We'd, we'd already decided that the mallards... It hit me in the face with his beak. <laughs> we'd already decided that mallards were going to stay anyway. All right, you come around me. I'm just going to put a crack in it. Put him in. All right, buddy. Go forward, not backwards. Don't go backwards. Go forward. All right. We're going to get y'all some water for the evening. First thing in the morning, we're going on a journey. And it's going to be a good one. How long before one of them gets in? Oh, not long. Uh, buddy? <laughs> it's just ice cream. Pickles and ice cream. Right there. Got one. No, not that one. I'm one. just looking around. All right, so Mary Carl's goal this morning was to catch this little snowy mallard that we could not catch last night. So we've got the trailer loaded, as you can see, hooked up to the car, ready to go. And he's going to join his friends. And I think this is the last one, isn't it? Yeah, there's a couple of muscovies that are on top of the barn. A couple of muscovies. I don't know if y'all can see them. They're on top of the barn. <laughs> but uh, we're going to load this guy up. And we're going to head on over to where Jason is already at the 40. And let them loose for their new living environment. And we showed y'all the snowy mallard that we caught. And we clipped its wings and we put it in the trailer. And I said, man, Carl, where's Nugget? And she said, he's probably on the other side. Well, I went around to the other side and Nugget was not there. So we realized that during all of our catching the ducks last night that he got a little bit um, scared, scared, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, he got out of the fence. He did not um, go out with the gate open. He had to have jumped the fence. Yeah, he's done it before. Um, and so... We took off in the car as soon as we realized he wasn't in there and went to look. And um, I'm going to show y'all where we found him this morning and what's going on. We, um, when we found him, he was in these people's yard and he had been there for what they said was about two hours. And we don't know when he got out, if it was last night or this morning. But regardless, he wasn't in his pen and we found him at the the house up here that's woods joined the backyard of our house so we attempted to catch him and lure him back through the woods three different times and he was just um it, it's very dense woods he was scared um he didn't know which way to turn we didn't have any kind of way to lead him without just steering him with our hands and he obviously can run a little faster than we can so that didn't work so after three attempts we kind of lost him in the woods and that scared me 
I didn't know um, which direction he went. I just kept thinking maybe he would come back. Jason's at the 40. We didn't have anybody to help us. So um, I told the people that he was at their house to call me if they saw him again. Lo and behold, they've just called and they said that he's back. And they said they had a good idea that we could keep him in this little pen area that they previous owners had for a dog and keep him locked up in here. I see his head. I see his head too. Keep him locked up in here until we can go and get the ducks unloaded and get Nugget loaded in the trailer. So Mary Carl and I have brought him some food and water and we're going to run over to the 40 with the ducks and then come back and get Nugget. Nugget. Come here buddy. Come here. Okay. All right, buddy. We're going to be back in just a few minutes and we're going to come get you, okay? Oh, goodness. What a disastrous morning it has been. So, we are headed to the 40 with the ducks and geese to unload them, get the trailer empty so we can come back and get Nugget loaded. We didn't anticipate we would be taking Nugget today, but um, things are moving along a little faster than what we thought. Oh my gracious. So I'm guessing y'all all know what's happening right now. Uh, this is crazy. Um, so I'm waiting on Brooke to get here. We're gonna unload the ducks and geese in their paddock and then we're gonna head and go try to get Nugget. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm filling up all these pools for everybody. That should be plenty. That's a lot. I want everybody to feel comfortable and hopefully we can get Nugget loaded and over here. Hopefully. Please, hopefully. Jojo, top. Y'all fixing to have some company, just so y'all know. It is on the way. All right, they're here. They are here. I can hear the geese. Geese are honking. We made it. We've had a disastrous morning, but we made it. Two eggs. Come on, guys. A cantaloupe. Here they come. All right, is that all of them? Oh, we got more. What you guys think? Look at all that grass. What's up, Ted? What's up, Scoby? I don't know what you are. Scobies? Those are all my Scobies? Yeah. Uh, see it? Uh -huh. Went straight for the pool. They, they know where water is. <laughs> they got plenty of them. Oh my. Straight for the pool. What do you think, Jojo? Look at all this grass we got. That sure is pretty. <laughs> it's a big party over here, ain't it? All right, we couldn't celebrate too long with the ducks and geese like we would like to because we gotta go get Nugget from the neighbor's yard. Um, I didn't see this, see where they put him, but they seem pretty confident that he can't get out. So we're hopefully, hopefully good with that. All right, guys, we'll be back. We look at all of them in those pools. We'll be back with your partners in crime, the Nugster. Yeah, we sure will. Hopefully.
I just pulled up at the neighbors and Nugget has gotten out of the fence they had him in. And so we gotta go try to catch him. All right, so I got Nugget. I'm heading him to the house is my plan. He keeps wanting to veer off. Just keep going straight, buddy. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. We're gonna get you home, buddy. We're gonna get you home. All right, so we still make our way back to the house. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. I know. I know, we're gonna get you home. Yeah, we're gonna get you home, buddy. Come on, I know you're hot. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there, buddy. There you go, Nugget. There's our house right over there. You're getting close. Good job, buddy. Good job, Nugget. There you go. We're almost there, buddy. We're getting close. I can see our house. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera off so I can guide you. You see our house, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Nice little hike this morning. Yeah. Got us a nice little hike in this morning. You hear Tommy? Yeah. You hear Tommy? We're almost home. We are almost there, buddy. Keep going. You got it. You got this, Nugget. You got this. All right, let's cut the camera off so I can guide you some more. All right, bud, let's go get you some water. Come on. Come on, let's go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Come on, Nuggo. Come on, Nuggo. There you go. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Hey. Go shut it. All right. Nugget's home. Nugget. Hey, buddy, you give me a high five. <laughs> I don't blame you. I wouldn't give me a high five either. Let's get you some water going. Okay. We're going to get Nugget some water here. Come on, we're going to get you some water. Buddy, I'm so glad you're back. Yeah, I get worried about Nug. Yeah, I get worried about my Nuggie. All right, we got you some water. And we should have rinsed the dab, but we knew you was... Thirsty and hot. Yeah. You not gonna lay down? <laughs> no, I gotta check on your boots. <laughs> I gotta clean them boots, man. <laughs> Come on, nugget. Well, we thought when we came in here Look originally. Look at his face. Looks like he's wearing shoes. Don't it, though? When we came in here originally, we didn't see him. Yeah. Maybe, across here. Maybe he's in the chicken coop. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in the coop looking for Nugget. Nugget, you went in the coop. I went in the chicken coop, ma'am. I was up the road. I had to go see where my ducks went. I gotta go check on my buddy Cantaloupe. You were going with him, wasn't you, buddy? <laughs> He's hot. Yeah, he is hot. Didn't you poo, buddy? Let's put some water on his back. How about that? I feel good. Thank you, Mike. There you go, buddy. Now. Now we chilling. That'll get him cooled off right there now. Yeah, I believe it will. That'll get our boy cooled off. I know it. Look how he makes himself fit in that pool. <laughs> now we got him. Yes, sir. That a boy. I know that feels good to him. You know it feels good. So it's been a few hours and so we've decided probably best if we go ahead and move Nugget on over there with the ducks and geese. He's tired. He um so we think this just be the best opportunity to do it right now. Plus I'm gonna go over there and I'll stay over there and keep eyes on everything and make sure everything's okay. I think Nugget's perfectly fine once he gets over there with everybody else. And we're good. Fingers crossed. Y'all wish us luck. Hey, 
We're getting loaded. That was easier than what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that went way easier than what I thought. All right, so that went pretty smoothly. I think mainly, mainly because Nugget's pretty tired from that hike he had today. So he just went right on up in. And we're hoping, we've read that when you transport an emu, that generally they'll lay down when they're driving. So that's what we're hoping for. And all that'll work out well for everybody. Um, yeah, he was laying down. I just saw him. He just stood up when you stopped driving. Okay. All right. Like I was saying, I, I was got in. I wrote to Mary Call caught a duck that was she didn't get on the first um, the first go round. Um, we read that once you start moving, the emu will lay down, and that looked like the case when Brooke was coming down the driveway with Nugget. He was laying down, and when we stopped, he stood up. So we got Nugget loaded. Um, I'm super happy about that, big time. That is um, awesome. We got him loaded. So we're about to head over to the 40 with Nugget and a couple of ducks that didn't make it on that first go around. I think that is all her ducks. Every duck is caught that she wanted to catch. Um, I think there were some mallards, of course, that we talked about earlier that we'll be unable to catch because mallards are just, they're, they're native ducks to this area. They're wild ducks. They were hatched here and they fly they're migratory so and most of the time about half of them usually ended up end up migrating anyway so we are about to roll on to the 40 with the man himself the nugster all right so we made it got a little rain on the radar we are here with nugget i'm still a little worried just Hopefully it all works out okay. That's funny. He's got his head out the window. Y'all should have seen him driving down the road. <laughs> I cannot see in front of me. You're pretty There's good. There's a couple of muscovies but don't move, I think. We're gonna let you out, buddy. All right. Sure. Hey, buddy. <laughs> can you get it back in? Look, I've been worried about you the whole time you're back. I can hear you fall every time. Oh, goodness. Let's We're fixing to let you out, though. I can see you panting. Y'all ready? Mick, I wanted to get her phone ready. We're ready. Look. He's still sticking his head up. The boys is ready. He said to just uh, open it up and just let them hey, take their time. Nuggets home! I know y'all. He said, what are you up in? <laughs> Maybe he's looking for his boy, Cantaloupe. Which one of y'all is Cantaloupe? 
There he is. Uh-oh, he found him a poo. He's like, man, that's a lot of poos. He said, they're all dirty. Who made them a mess? Hey, buddy. What's up, Nuggo? You made it. Yeah. Reckon he's gonna run? I don't know. <laughs> he gonna check out his boundaries? Go we'll check out his boundaries. You got lots of room, buddy. Lots and lots of room. Every now and then a feather would fly out of the trailer. <laughs> Miracle kept saying, I can see feathers flying out. Miracle was watching him the whole time. She said, I see his head. Oh, there's her other duck. She... Uh -oh, I forgot about those. Which one needed its wings clipped? Okay. Do we have scissors? Yeah, we brought them. Y'all see your buddy Nug? That's Jojo's buddy. Nugget. Yeah. Nugget, you've had an adventurous day. I'm not going to lie. I bet you're going to sleep for days. You've yeah. had an adventurous day. Why don't you clean my boots off? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. He's checking it out. Yeah, he is checking it out. Where's Wade Carl? Um, I know it. All right, brought their feed. Ain't nobody interested in feed right now, though. <laughs> I thought they'd go right to it. They didn't. Nuggets running. Go, boy. <laughs> I was running over here. He was started running. Nuggets checking out the boundaries. We just barely beat the rain. We did. Nuggets, but he's not scared of the rain. Hey, yeah. He said he's just gonna cool off a little bit. My lives will stand out in it. It's been a rough day. Whoo, man, it has been a long day. I'm I, about ready to call this one over. I'm tired. I know you're tired. This has been one hectic day, but thank you. I told Mary Carl when we pulled in, I was so grateful and thankful that it's we got over. Nugget here and it's over. We went through, um... Nugget wasn't planned today. No, Nugget wasn't planned today. We went through some big hurdles to to uh, get Nugget here. I don't know, maybe he was trying to say he wasn't coming today. I don't know, I don't, I just, I don't know. Uh, who knows, who knows? You don't think he may have slipped out when y'all were catching ducks and geese? Carl even asked me that. Yeah. And you know, I just don't think so, Jason. I would open the gate yeah. and we would go out either at the same time or either I would let her out and I shut it behind me. I just don't think that happened. But anything eat regardless he's he here he got out and he he's got here. and we got him and we got him here so the proof is in the camera there he is he is here thank goodness he is here and the boys are here the boys are in their porta hood <laughs> yeah you can see them in there hey it's raining hey girl you melting yeah. <laughs> you can come in here or you can get in the car Whew. look at topper and tip peeking out <laughs> oh me they like they're glad this is sky water i away. know it they are it's coming down a little harder and they're in grass they're not on dirt they're in grass oh, really. and i don't think they're gonna see dirt for a long time i don't think so either mary crawl is probably gonna make it too loud in here but mary crawl asked me how long do i think the geese could stay in here for they ate all the grass and i said a long time unless you could start multiplying them like mama did then they yeah that few can can be in here for a long time okay so you're staying here tonight yeah. to take care of feeding the boys yeah. and why you can share everything make sure okay. nuggets yeah. okay i'm pulling the horse trailer home tonight yeah i'm thinking that if you will send the drills with me with the bits uh -huh. that mary carl and i can try to load the girls up okay try okay just don't hurt yourself i mean we'll know 
yeah. if it's not gonna work if it's not gonna work it's i'll not just gonna come work. home yeah right i'll drive home in the morning. you'll drive home mm -hmm. and then i'll just stay there and wait on you to get home but if i can get them loaded and drive them over here okay. and you get their feeders and waterers installed yeah. then we can go back as a group and do the chickens at night well the ch chickens at night and then maybe something in between oh we could get those that day tomorrow we could do the egyptians tomorrow Hook possibly bills. we can make yeah. two trips tomorrow and then trip tomorrow night look at that muscovy puffing his chest out they are just so happy they're, they're a big family we'll call it a day you think? <laughs> we'll call it a day hey carl you were in on this one too thank you baby for being so supportive and helping us That's so right. much Woo. Cog squad. Cog squad. <laughs>